You know what is going on guys, my name is Friend the Machine or Carnage Machine or whatever you want to call me, I'm not bothered but today guys, over here on my personal channel, the Friend the Machine and Carnage Clan, we are continuing the series on how to get a nuclear the best possible or easiest possible way in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on every single map. So if the gameplay in the background doesn't make itself explanatory or the title or anything of what we're looking at today, we're looking at the map Exodus and we're going to be breaking down the best possible way to get a nuclear on this map for you guys and I want to say first of all before we get into the video on my personal channel, link to the very top of the video description down below, we're on the road to 10k, I think we're like 900 subs off or something like that but I know with the power of Kindness clan and your awesome guys and support if you came and check me out we'll be there in no time it's just a thing but obviously it's down there in the video description down below at the very top like I said and obviously you can keep to date with the series earlier than on Kindness clan so if you want to be subscribed to the channel I'll help you guys the best possible way with tips and tricks in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 3 news and everything to do with the game overall. With that being said about help and support on my personal channel that I can provide for you guys there is also a system in Black Ops 3 now called the group system of where you can invite people to the group and then you can see when they're online kind of like a friends list system but I think even better and we have a group certified for this series now called nuclear every map this will not only allow you guys to play with each other and actually grind for nuclears and that be the sole purpose of playing together in the first place with non-lethal score streaks you'll also get the chance if i'm online to play with me and obviously if i get a gameplay to break down on the channel or carnage clan you might be able to say wow i was in that gameplay and i ran support for that guy going for that nuclear on every map series so basically the map exodus right we're going to get straight into this now and the sole purpose of actually creating the group system is to get a six man because obviously going in a six man is a lot easier with haters going up in the sky constantly and I definitely think Exodus is one of them maps that you need to do this on because of the fact it's a really strange map in terms of the flow and everything and the positioning of every structure on it because you can either be really close to someone in a building or there can be a long distance head glitch or a high advantage head glitch for you or another person which can be really annoying at the same time if you're on the bad end of that. So to counter this the best way possible is by using the movement system in Black Ops 3 by running to the edge of each map but using the route to the left side of the air flag that I'm at now before the scene changes to another scene of in the gameplay in the background but also so running power core as well to reduce the enemy's movement because if you can get to their spawn without them coming out and them getting a head glitch position then that's definitely a good thing to be doing because I don't feel like County UAV is a very good score streak to be running because it's not too big of a map in the first place which in other words of speaking means that the map is either constantly flipping the spawns or the spawns are hectic and everyone's spawning in the same place at once because the map is so small and what I use to actually deal with the situations where maybe a head glitcher at long range or medium moderate range and I have the disadvantage run a gun and SMG like the Razorback now the Razorback it's an SMG it's very mobile for the situation of the map being very small and wanting to get around the map fast but also it's very accurate and at the same time it can deal the damage like you've seen in the gameplay in the background I'll put the class set up on you guys' screen right now it's a very good gun I don't really want to break down the class because we don't have an awful lot of time to cover this map but you guys can see it and copy it if you feel you want to. Moving on to the specialist that I like to use or recommend the most on this map I feel like I do a lot of things out of panic on this map because it's so small I don't get it that often they took it out at the start of the game track to fix bugs update glitches and everything like that in the game so what I've put on his kinetic armor because if you're in a tricky situation like you'll see me getting in a second it definitely lets you have the time or kind of focus on your situation more to realize what you want to do and how you want to handle a gunfight situation or just generally slap someone up like I did right there so if I didn't want to use kinetic armor I would definitely be using combat focus to get more haters in the sky quicker and I don't really recommend any specialist weapons because I think it's a bit kind of too long with the new movement system so people can out jump your purifier with a new kind of nerf that it got and also the sci-fi I feel would be kind of clunky so anything that you guys will be able to use non-lethal on this map the better because then you'll actually use your gun more and get better in gunfight situations as well as learning the map at the same time anything like overdrive combat focus or kinetic armor they'd be my top three for this map because obviously the rush routes are very important like seeing me do here to get to the enemy spawn again on the best rush route side that i said to go the left side of the air flag so coming up to the end of the streak and that meaning the end of the video because we're only focusing on the nuclear and nothing more not like a 40 gun streak like i actually do get in the gameplay in the background i want to tell you guys an overall play style that i go about when playing this map so as you can see the middle area of the map the B section is a very open area a lot of people can spawn in and then just lob their grenades in the middle of the map straight away when they've just spawned right so I wouldn't recommend going there because there's so many different diverse directions that you can actually get shot from as well so I tend to stay away from there unless you've got a hater in the sky and you've got everything completely under control so thank you all for watching I hope I've illustrated enough in the gameplay in the background as well as you guys because I'm trying to play careful in this map to illustrate to you guys that I don't know my wits about this map or anything like that I don't have too much knowledge on it so if I can get a new player with the tips that I've shown you guys and I've followed myself then you definitely can as well so thank you all for watching slap a like on the video down below if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode also be sure to let me know what you guys would like to see next map wise whether it be in the comment section on Kindish Clan or my personal channel and don't forget to check me out in the video description at the very top down below if you are watching on Kindish Clan to the channel the friend the machine which is me obviously so thank you all for watching again I'll avoid faces as usual peace out